i think india can play a reasonably good role to bring everybody together Correct. and uh, work for a common cause that will sol- solve the biggest problem of our global warming kalam was personally present there and uh, he and the first sign- signatures of water also the date came uh, uh, and he was really happy you said that with the budget that we have for moon moon you can we manage. will reach mars 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 and we took no extra money no extra money and 2014 uh, when we acquired the uh, mars i think we have been the first ever country to do it in the first, first attempt, attempt. Uh, now india has uh, done reasonably well almost every front of the space station Yes, sir very soon another mission is to be launched aditya elder sir please talk about that what is that mission hindustan ki janta pet nahi bhara hoga aapka pakka nahi bhara hoga mera bhi nahi bhara hai isro aur kya kya kar raha hai kaisa kaisa kaam kar raha hai kaun kaun se missions karne wala hai kya kya kamal karne wala hai duniya se behtar kaise karne wala hai ye sab janna hai to jk super podcast pe aaiye na jk super podcast pe aaiye मेरे साथ आज फिर इस पॉडकास्ट पे डॉक्टर मिल स्वामी अन्ना दुराई सामने बैठे हैं और बहुत सारे सवाल एलियंस नहीं पूछूंगा यूएफओज नहीं पूछूंगा बहुत पॉडकास्ट हैं उसके लिए पूछूंगा कि मिशंस किस तरह हो रहे हैं पीछे पूछूंगा कि इसरो कहाँ जा रहे हैं सर योर वेलकम थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग दिस विद अस बताइए सर सर आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज वॉट वॉज योर रिलेशनशिप विद मिस्टर ए पी जे डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम सर हैव यू वर्क क्लोजली विद एम No, I cannot claim closely working with them because when I joined, there is an overlap, very very small overlap between me and him. No, Israel. Okay. The year I joined, almost the similar same year, and I think he moved to DRDO. Okay. But not with starting that, we had the working experience. Okay. Various uh, missions, uh, and uh, especially when coming to the Chandrayaan, mm-hmm. because we moved forward, and uh, if you recall, uh, 2020 vision. the chandrayaan was not figuring hmm. mission to the moon was not figuring hmm. um, th- that means um, we graduated much faster and somewhere in 2003 time frame we are talking about uh, mission to the moon hmm. uh, dr kalam himself was uh, president of uh, india hmm. not understanding that he had uh, shown very keen interest very keen interest about the, uh, this mission and uh, uh, when udaipur uh, there is a international conference luna conference where we presented our chandrayaan one mission concept Uh, on the drawing board how the mission look likes and uh, dr kalam he himself was the chief guest of the conference he was there he he, okay. he, he was personally there he okay. was personally sitting there okay and uh, everything was went and uh, looking at the project uh, the way in which i presented with a good number of uh, foreign delegates were there almost mm. everyone felt really impressed by the presentation mm. and uh, almost everyone told this mission will unambiguously will able to answer mm. the presence of water yes or no mm. i think that's where the accord and uh, <coughs> uh, it, it was it went went off very well mm. and uh, even i uh, projected here video mm. how our mission would look like mm. it went uh, reasonably well mm. uh, uh, but but the, though there was some skepticism about whether we'll able to realize the mission or not people who but, laughed yeah laughed mm. but not understanding that if a mission comes mm. it will make mm. uh, that way the opinions were there mm. but not understanding that uh, after that during a tea time got a chance to sit with the term uh, yeah. dr kalam and uh, uh, when chipping a coffee uh, he was uh, telling about everything is uh, good and other right mm. but but he told so when he told but i was wondering what but yeah. he is telling yeah. about so but you are stopping the mission around 100 km polar orbit yeah. so that means original our mission concept is yeah. the psl will launch yeah. and go around the moon yeah. with 100 km around the uh, moon yeah. pole to pole hmm. so that was our original mission concept hmm. Hmm. that means you are traveling all the way 3 lakh 84000 km hmm. and you are falling short 100 km hmm. somehow you should make sure that uh, indian presence on the moon in the first mission itself hmm. so we told it's very tough hmm. because technically you look at here hmm. how much fuel you are taking hmm. to take the mission to 100 km polar orbit hmm. from there to land on the moon you have to spend similar amount of fuel hmm. to go down so hmm. to reduce the velocity hmm. and something like that so hmm. put it, keeping in mind i told that's difficult hmm. then he told her to tell difficult another is not required to tell to tell difficult yeah. you are not required ah you okay. to how to make the it difficult. yeah you have to answer the difficulty yeah. what a line sir <laughs> he's telling a uh, India is one of the renowned scientists that you are not here to tell that it is difficult you are here to answer that it is difficult yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that is why kalam sir was kalam yeah, sir yeah, yeah. yeah so then i took it very seriously mm. then we he sat with the team yeah. of course we struggled for nearly 6 months 6 months to struggle mm. how to configure the mission mm. 
and uh, yes finally we came out with the uh, concept mm. Mm. and uh, uh, that concept worked mm. so when really when that uh, uh, 35 kg of system mm. along with the triangular flag uh, mm. mounted on that mm. when it was going down and uh, to crash land on the moon on november 14th of 2008 mm. four years later after this discussion kalam was pr- personally present there okay yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, he uh, under first sign- signatures of water also the date came uh, uh. and uh, he was really happy uh. so i also was really happy the uh. whole media was sitting uh. there uh. i could see visibly happy uh. so then i went out and he, he extended his hand uh. and i also uh, extended his hand uh. extended my hand uh. Uh, i thought he was going to give a congratulation uh. and hug uh. uh, but instead of that he told what next wow he didn't congratulate he you didn't, he he scanned game yeah. but he, whatever you told was what yeah. next that means it summarizes yeah. you have done well this Correct. but what is next yeah. then he was asking yeah. then you i told yeah. because he is so um, sir chandrayaan 1 we have done chandrayaan 2 mm. yes next time you have to land softly on the moon not okay. crash landing okay so that means this time we land at the crash the landing yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you wanted the same yes sir we are going to do that like yeah. that i think it is went well similarly for the mission mangal also uh, mm. he was that just a day before mm. our it occurring around the mars mm. uh, that was we are the first country to acquire uh, the mission mangal you were one of the most important pe- people behind mission mangal sir what was mission mangal what made it so special just explain that sir please yeah i think the chandrayaan one made a very very great success okay okay discovering water on the moon mm. uh, things come very very nicely then close to the hills itself mm. uh, uh, with along with the russia mm. we are planned to go for a chandrayaan 2 the chandrayaan mission they were not part of with us and they wanted to come and uh, along with us we 2009 onwards we started working mm. and somewhere in 2011 our portion of the mission mm. so wherein the chandrayaan 2 concept was to land on the moon softly mm. that lander uh, technology supposed to come from russians mm. remaining portions is the launch vehicle or an orbiter which will take the lander to the moon mm. and you know a rover will come out of the uh, mm. uh, lander mm. will be supposed to be by indians mm. so this is how we gone planned it went but um, uh, somewhere to th- 2011 end uh, russia came back and told they wanted to correct the, their lander configuration okay. so, but by the time we had already advanced our lander is uh, our orbiter was almost ready huh. all the systems are ready and uh, uh, rover also we started testing that so level they backed out so that time they came out with the uh, configuration change that we could not accommodate hmm. it calls for a wholesale change correct so our orbiter will come based like that so that then that i think it is hmm. the, uh, our cooperation fallen apart hmm. so then we have to work for our own lander hmm. the lander will take definitely another 4 or 5 years hmm. but until then the orbiter almost we have done so what to do with this orbiter okay so we had an, an orbiter issue. yeah yeah but then uh, the lander to get we should get additional uh, budget yeah. so whether to go for budget enhancement yeah. and uh, even if you do it this orbiter will be lying uh, idle for another 4 or 5 years mm. after 4 or 5 years uh, until then what to do mm. so we are in a dilemma what mm. to do like that so then all of a sudden one flash came mm. because uh, we, these we are talking about 2011 into 2012 mm. so 2013 september there is one good chance mm. uh, if you are able to launch uh, there is a chance to go to the mars because wow. every 26 years every yeah. 26 months there is a good opportunity the come. orbiter that was planned for moon moon is it ah uh, yeah could go to mars, mars if we launch on the right time uh, right time okay so this is a wild thought the okay. wild thought <laughs> is, it, is it is it possible to do yeah. that like that yeah. so a yeah, flash came yeah. but really when we really look back Uh, uh the uh, before that nearly 51 attempts to the mars has happened were made by us or russia entire globe entire everybody globe. 50 yeah, 50 uh. 51 times made uh. and they succeeded only uh, uh, not even 21 occasions 30 times failures were there okay and not even a single country succeeded the first attempt nobody nobody succeeded the first attempt mm-hmm. and the earliest was americans and uh, succeeded on fifth attempt fifth attempt fifth attempt okay uh, china uh, russia succeeded on ninth attempt ah. china and japan had to succeed in that thing hmm. so now we have to we will be, that means if you attempt it hmm. and that too that mission specifically designed to go to mars correct but this mission is originally Decide planned for to, the moon ah. now we have to reconfigure and put it uh, things together ah. and go to the mars ah. so it's a really really a tough and order. with an incomparable budget our budget was no, way no, less than we, no no uh, almost we, we, whatever they given originally hmm. we are not supposed to uh, ask for original budget also because hmm. the question comes how how sure you will be we have hardly 14 months from that place you have to launch correct how sure you will make it yeah. in case you miss it 
what yeah. will happen for that it yeah. is various questions were there but then almost we told sir without budget we can manage yeah. you allow us to this hardware to go what i'm understanding here is that you said that with the budget that we have for moon moon you can we manage we will reach this. mars 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 and we took no extra money no extra money okay sir so this is this is this is yeah. you allow me we'll yeah. go like that yeah. i think uh, uh, the it, it came so uh, accordingly actually uh, when the budget uh, really on officially budget what they were allocated versus this i think hardly 14 months were there huh. actually we, 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 in the government procedures yeah. from there and trying to procure something and hmm. doing that is not possible correct that means the available hardware whatever you had whatever we had we managed and yeah. that whatever the money has come and it has pulled back hmm. for chandrayaan to subsequently to do correct so because chandrayaan to in any regard delayed hmm. but this hardware does not keep it as it is hmm. so this hardware was rejected hmm. rejected to a level hmm. to go to the mars so the same way hmm. psl the same the psl we puts Sir, around there in short the please explain me the the trajectory that we took how did we go there how much time it took for us yeah. and where did we reach yeah so then to start with it is more like uh, whatever we had in chandrayaan 1 correct you think a psl v 200 by 22000 km orbit okay you launch it there okay so then gradually keep increasing this uh, orbit slingshot slingshot four or five maneuvers you do okay then then finally you go uh, on velocity? a key, uh, on a velocity uh-huh. this velocity will take it away from the earth's gravity of influence hmm. this time okay. unlike chandrayaan 1 okay okay because okay. now this time it has to go around uh, uh, go out when it goes out we would give such a velocity uh-huh. such that it is captured by the sun by the sun by the sun sun's gravity sun's gravity so okay. like how earth is moving around the s- uh, sun how mars is moving around the sun like that this will move around the sun hmm. but such a way hmm. such that uh, after 9 months uh-huh. when it's keep going hmm. mars would have been there that also comes hmm. you have to go just above the mars 500 km away you have to capture 500 km you go around the sun hmm. you like earth only it's going Correct. but it's slightly different trajectory okay that trajectory such that yeah. when it comes over here yeah. mars also will be keep coming like this correct this this, this two will Meet. just will go ahead of mars somewhere around 500 km so our satellite would be just 500 km ahead of mars just uh, uh, that place okay Th- that place then then by this time you would have programmed a system uh-huh. once it goes there uh-huh. it will reduce its velocity to some extent okay once it reduce velocity it will get captured by the mars mars gravity. Itself, mars gravity wow so this is this is the uh, method we we, we plan yeah. so wherein the P- uh, launch vehicle is very very modest launch vehicle hmm. PSLV PSM PSLV PS with PSLV with we have done yeah, yeah. yeah and the hardware which is supposed to go to the moon reconfigured uh-huh. and we have put it there correct so when we put it there when yeah. prime minister of india is yeah. uh, watching in 2014 uh-huh. when we acquired the uh, mars mm. i think we have become the first ever country to do it in the first attempt. first attempt and, and with the with the budget is a almost a peanut budget okay and and there the, the, there is another story behind this mm. uh, my jpl friends by the time good number of uh, uh, friends from nasa over there there and uh, mm. they when they came to know about mm. we are there about this uh, thing to start with they thought uh, impossible we, again impossible, impossible that's again. how the world thinks of us <laughs> yeah, yeah. every time we go for a mission the world says impossible again <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. and anyway slowly uh, by the time we really when we are about to launch when they came to know they're mm. launching really mm. subsequent year yeah. then they sent a, a two liter jar of peanuts with a letter with ha. a letter ha. telling the story ha. the story goes like this they when they launched first attempt they failed second ha. attempt failed third attempt failed fourth attempt failed ha. fifth attempt ha. uh, when when they're all waiting uh, to make everybody to focus ha. the peanuts were served you know nobody supposed to smoke <laughs> nobody should go out ha. anything you want to go out ha. or anything point of view ha. you take your peanuts and ha. keep ha. watching and everybody should be on the console uh, no relaxation to anyone so ha. that concentrate because you, every time they failed they are not going to understand Correct. the reason ha. maybe we were losing concentration something like that they would have so thought. they sent the peanuts, peanuts for you the yeah, peanuts they served for Hmm. in jpl hmm. it looks they succeeded that attempt Correct. fifth attempt okay so they thought peanut serving is uh, succeeding so it was so good luck so subsequent luck. subsequent all their mars mission hmm. they used to serve the peanuts hmm. during the day when the equation of the moon comes the launch yeah. okay so then they t- telling a good luck hmm. they sent the peanuts to us so biggest of the science agencies in the world <laughs> are also countering in the factor of luck 
no matter what you say <laughs> they are countering in the factor of luck they are using peanuts as a, that's wonderful sir that's so, a beautiful story so it's one side with a peanuts budget yeah. another side peanuts also helping like this yeah. job really job really there correct, it, correct, it, correct. something happened and then we reached mars yeah, yeah. sir is there any anything that we found out of that uh, or was it just a mission to send reach mars yeah technologically yes hmm. uh, going to the mars hmm. but not understanding that uh, that mission uh, as a one is a highly elliptical orbit correct okay one side goes very very far away from the moon uh, mars as possible another comes very close also yeah. so this gives the same uh, the, the three and a half days uh, when you are away from that mm. the whole m- mars can be captured mm. by the our, our own camera system correct. and when we're coming closer you can uh, take the closer look of the correct. Uh, mars system correct so but this we lived more than seven years okay this 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 yeah. satellite lived more, more than seven, more than seven years yeah. lived. so that uh, uh, but now every two and a half years like uh, a nearly uh, thing they are every two and a half year type of thing correct yeah season happens that okay so we are able to see the seasonal variation around the moon three seasonal variations you could look at around the mars around the mars okay okay we could see the seasons are changing three uh, seasonal variations three seasonal variations what are those seasons so that sir? means basically what is happening is some cloud formations we are seeing over okay. the poles uh-huh. and uh, then the cloud vanishes mm. before and after the cloud uh, formation mm. the terrains which we are seeing very closer mm. we are seeing a different it is opening it out possibility whether is it real st- still rain is happening there or not there we can the again find water that rain would be of water or something else no nah, yeah, nah, that, that that we have to see now okay. that that's the thing so basically the, what we tells is mm. the terrain whatever it is there mm. whatever we are seeing there is a variation before and after the cloud formation mm. okay so there is a cloud makes it to uh, uh, rain the rain is the one reason why it is uh, hmm. uh, making the uh, terrain uh, different hmm. is a question mark okay. so this has to be uh, seen further sir that. is so there any data that we are getting from mars that is different from the data that anybody else in the entire world is getting uh, one is one is this the this, trying, trying this is the data show. only we are getting yeah because this this op, this this option was uh, our for us only because uh, we were seven years we are there we are able to cut the three seasons correct, only correct. second thing is same same satellite uh-huh. we are able to see Uh, 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 one one portion of the orbit yeah. full full Correct, full because thing. it's the different uh, distances yeah, yeah, so yeah. much and another one, yeah and another one is very close okay. so this is unique unique orbit okay. unique orbit it is acha ours orbit is very unique yeah unique unique nobody unique. else has yeah yeah, yeah 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 wow. yeah it's amazing sir now moving from sir international space station something that you were telling me while we were coming in the car that it's it's like there is a new international space station that is supposed to go up yeah yeah, yeah. sir you had a beautiful thing that you were telling me please go ahead and tell this to our viewers sir yeah basically uh, he had the opportunity to be in the uh, un committee for peaceful use of outer space in vienna okay uh, there is a forum correct around 80 so 90 peaceful countries, use of outer space so that nobody just yeah, yeah, there is yeah, no yeah. clash happening between that, that the space to avoid any uh, uh, unnecessary conflicts correct let us the people use the space for the correct. peaceful use correct. okay yeah. for the uh, for the various reasons for mm. the climate change mm. any disaster warning like that we must able to mm. communication many things you, let us let us use it cooperatively mm. so that in that forum when we are discussing about the i had a chance of chairing the mm. uh, the uh, committee of the committees correct. okay so then Uh, th- there is a discussion about pos- the subsequent um, uh, space station hmm. uh, the space station international space station now it is getting old next uh, space station has to come hmm. next generation has to come so when that is coming uh, the, uh, uh, they are looking for the possibility of india also to be part of that correct so then uh, i was trying to tell them hmm. uh, yes i can go back to tell our policy makers hmm. because as of today india was not a part of that okay uh, international space station hmm. india is not a member correct. of that china also not a member of that hmm. so like that it is there but now in subsequent international space station without india and china hmm. will not play a major role because we are all the active players correct now, okay, compared to previous occasion correct. so so but but somehow i felt the, hmm. the uh, international space station of the present configuration hmm. somehow it is not uh, uh, going to me, me <coughs> properly because um, once in 10 15 years you have to you have to put another space, put another space station, one thing and and, and and every year also hmm. year on year also to hmm. maintain that you have to spend good amount of fuel up to the correct and repairing many things is supposed to do correct. that so the amount of expenditure coming for maintenance mm. and the requirement to replace it once in a decade mm. is keep coming yeah. somehow it is not matching correct and another thing is what all we do is what all articles we are taking from ground only mm. we are going to test there correct. only thing is the gravity portion we are trying to use it correct here. why can't we shift the whole thing to the moon the entire space entire. station yeah, yeah. on the moon uh, that, that, mean, that means uh, you you set up the space station whatever mm. required mm. in the moon 
Hmm. There water being available. Hmm. Okay. So then gradually the space station can be expanded in a in a stages. Correct. Unlike uh, this system, we are we are spending money to repair. Hmm. There you can spend our time and energy hmm. to expand. Correct. In the moon, moon there is nothing called maintaining. Correct. Uh, orbit. Orbit. Yeah. Orbit is. Moon is. Yeah. Orbiting itself. And now we are seeing some resources like water. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. and hydrogen, possibly helium three. Correct. Many things we are seeing there. So why can't we set up a system there mm. and try to understand more and more about the features of the moon better? Mm. Okay, uh, water, how to harvest, mm. how to have an, a possible habitat there, mm. how to have, uh, generate energy is there. Correct. Then eventually, is it possible for us to? Harvest helium three from there, correct, and try to bring back to earth. Correct. Like that, if you do, there is a continuity of our effort. Hmm. There is an improvement of our effort. Hmm. There is a graduation of our effort, correct. and it can feed back to earth also. Correct. If everything goes well. Correct. Okay. So that that gives you a very good uh, uh, sense of thing. And another thing is, whatever certain time. the international space station major contribution mm. con- co- coming from us correct but we should have equal opportunity correct but in the moon equal opportunity possible because moon is belonging to everyone correct so we go over there yeah. everyone keep building it there correct so that l- let us uh, do that and all already good number of research yeah. for example isro itself has started talking uh, talking uh, something called lunar simulation how habitat you can make Mm. that mean in situ Correct. thing how you can have it that we can make and some portion even agriculture we can do yeah. many things are happening so all the things put together mm. there is a possibility international lunar space station mm. it can be international station mm. but it lunar science also can improve mm. okay mm. so that way we can uh, keep improving in a much better way and, and the, it can also serve as a yeah. launching pad yeah, for yeah, mars yeah yeah that's what yeah yeah that that way if once you try to do that mm. how to sustain your life in the longer time in the moon mm. and how what sort of uh, things it can feed back to earth correct and again eventually let us assume we have to go to the mars mm. even the mars going from anyhow up and down you have to trip travel hmm. you have to go to the moon hmm. and again you have something you have to launch come back to earth the similar effort if you do we can go to mars also correct and there is every possibility when the hydrogen uh, water being there it can come hydrogen oxygen hmm. and the latest discovery of our chandrayaan 3 hmm. uh, when we are talking about the temperature profile of that hmm. using the lander hmm. so cryogenic uh, fuel Uh, keeping uh, in the moon under the lunar surface correct. very much visible yeah. so all the things putting together and the under reusable launch vehicles when we make hmm. and that if you take it there hmm. and that you can use it up and down sir how is cryogenic technology different from nuclear fusion technology cryogenic is a basically meant for the propulsion <coughs> point of view okay. okay propulsion point of view hmm. wherein uh, the hydrogen and uh, oxygen hmm. Uh, when it combine it, it it gives a combustion correct that gives a lot of hot gas correct but uh, you keeping it a gas form you cannot keep a huge version yeah. the liquid form you can keep it a larger uh, uh, thing you can keep correct. so but the liquid form keeping it could get calls for a low, at the lower temperature you have to keep correct so this prominently used for the rocket engines mm-hmm. but now Uh, uh this uh, th- th- that means you yourself can the rockets from there and coming going something you can do but what you will go and bring and this point of view you look mm. at here mm. with the hydrogen you can have self sustained energy possible okay because the day and nights coming there Correct. to avoid that during the daytime you can have the uh, sunlight mm. and using the sunlight you can have the uh, with the water you can take it away high b- ground also already we are going mm. green hydrogen water we're talking about mm. splitting water into hydrogen oxygen mm. oxygen can come for that atmosphere mm. and uh, hydrogen and oxygen liquid form can be cryogenic fuel mm. hydrogen in its own own form can form a yeah, fuel mm. so in this process possibility of harvesting helium 3 mm. on the lunar surface mm. the lunar uh, surface contains good amount of helium 3 mm. that has been seen uh, uh, over the apollo time frame itself mm. and by scientists also know that good, good amount of helium 3 is implanted being mm. from the solar uh, mm. uh, wind and other things so this helium 3 if you are able to harvest and bring back to earth mm. but by the time 10 15 years from now mm. uh, we expect a fusion based uh, nuclear reactors Correct. coming in earth yeah. so for that helium 3 can play a reasonably good raw material okay so that even a few tons of that mm. okay for example on a ballpark number of uh, uh, somewhere uh, of a ton of that mm. we can serve the whole of india's uh, uh, energy energy energy, 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 demand. energy demand wow. so when we are talking about um, uh, nuclear uh, our um, uh, e- 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 coal not to use mm. and we are trying to use the fossil fuel can mm. be avoided mm. so then all these things put together 
I think bra- bra- so if we get enough helium on the moon uh, yeah. we it, can, it can come it's yeah. going to be yeah, a yeah. race for energy yeah, yeah, resource yeah. again Correct, for everybody yeah everybody it can can come to everybody so mm-hmm. then that way this uh, it can play the space station and the moon can mm-hmm. play very very constructive role Correct. unlike a yeah, space station mm-hmm. which will any you know, every 10 years going to be a problem for you any day where it's going to fall how mm-hmm. it's going to fall what's going to create mm-hmm. and every year to maintain you are struggling Correct. so that none of these problems are there <coughs> but all the benefits only you are going to get mm-hmm. so that way a, a lunar space station to start with will help better way mm. and another thing is that also will give geopolitically mm. uh, you are all working together correct okay correct. instead of everyone going this is my land this uh-huh. my land uh-huh. instead of creating like that you, you you all work combined together like a few countries work in the international space station we can exactly. all more countries uh-huh. can uh-huh. more more countries correct, correct, so correct. that the resources can come here correct. so and so that every country whatever the money going to spend hmm. uh, can be minimized correct okay and uh, instead of everybody is struggling and failing hmm. uh, everybody success you keep adding hmm. uh, now in india india shown the way how to go cheap way into the moon hmm. how to land on the moon hmm. so you t- take the technologies and you have let india need not go for a bigger launch vehicle mm. india can rely on the bigger launch vehicle of somebody else mm. so like that if you keep doing so overall expenditure each country will come down correct Th- that is the that is the wisdom we have learned from chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 1 so money what we have spent is very very minimal yeah. but that one mission which everybody have gone together made everybody come back to everybody come to the moon correct so when having done that i think to be in that mode i think india can play a reasonably good role to bring everybody together correct and uh, work for a common cause that will sol- solve the biggest problem of mm. our global warming that okay. is that is going to be biggest uh, uh, thing and that we can uh, solve sir very soon another mission is to be launched aditya l1 sir please talk about that what is that mission yeah. how is it unfolding yeah aditya l1 mission also you look at here originally we thought uh, uh, to have a science mission only okay. to understand the Uh, something called the chronograph chronograph track it there hmm. so the uh, original thing is the uh, sun is, is also a, a more like a nuclear fusion is happening Correct. there uh. the core of the sun hmm. will be very very hot hot hmm. a hmm. million of degrees of celsius hmm. but when slowly when it's coming out coming out coming out hmm. until the surface the temperature is keep falling hmm. so outside is uh, when surface is around 3500 4000 degrees celsius Correct. but beyond that uh-huh. you look at here again the chronosphere will look at here again temperature goes up big way okay yeah. beyond again the surface uh, yeah 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 that, that is a that is a puzzle for the puzzle in science okay so nobody understands yeah, yeah, the core yeah, of the yeah, sun yeah. is really hot uh, yeah, then yeah. this surface is less hotter Le- than this uh, yeah, but expert, then yeah. this should be less hotter but it, it is yeah, yeah. way more hotter yeah 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 and so this nobody has answered that, that nobody answered okay so for that uh, to understand that whether the what india can do point mm. of view Uh, we are trying to carry a chronograph so mm. that will uh, basically try to uh, avoid the disk of the sun mm. and try to look at what is the mechanism what is happening outside that correct try to look further yeah. so this was original concept okay. but then after the chandrayaan mangalyaan this success mm. we thought we will re- can reconfigure the system mm. with the two purposes mm. adding one more objective one more objective one more objective okay. this objective is now you look at here more and more uh, we are having the satellites mm. now today india has more than 55 satellites okay. that worth more than 60000 crores okay satellites alone okay. but depending on the satellite what all work we are doing in a ground hmm. if you add that it's going to be few lakhs of crores will come correct okay so that means the the the, uh, the, the functions of the satellites operation of the satellites hmm. to be ensured that it's 24 by 7 working correct okay but the activities what is happening in a sun huh. once in a while yeah. uh, that disturb the something called space weather correct that space weather can affect the satellites yeah. functioning correct okay yeah. it it can it can make a repair also okay, okay. Mm. permanent repair also you mm. can make but if you know the activities a priori mm. we can take action on the satellite such that it you can avoid correct. some untoward things happening correct. on the satellites yeah. so for that we have to we, we can here you were keeping around will not help because mm. you you will get by the time you come to know by mm. already damage would happen correct so instead of that a powerful satellite if you keep it in between earth and uh, sun, sun mm. somewhere on 15 lakh kilometer away from earth correct that is the point where something called yellow lagrange point the gravity of the sun and the gravity of the earth are coming and almost getting equal there in contact in contact okay. something like that happened okay. so now if you are able to put a satellite around this point huh. okay this point itself will keep moving as yes, yes, earth is moving around the sun that correct. also will move correct so this also will be going around the sun but one point one side of the uh, uh, the satellite will look always sun 
ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಲುಕ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯಾರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆದರ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಯಾ 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 ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎರ್ಲಿ ವಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯು ಬಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಬಟ್ ನೌ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಟಲೈಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ತ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಟಲೈಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಯ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಲೆಕ್ರಾಂಜಿನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎನಿ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟರಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಗೀವ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಹೆಲೋ ಆರ್ಬಿಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕೀಪ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸೀಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯಾರ್ತ್ ಸೊ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಯಾರ್ತ್ ಸನ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಪನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೋನೋಗ್ರಾಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪನಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದರ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕೀಪ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಅನದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆದರ್ ಎನಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸ್ ಎರಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಸೊ ಎರಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನೌ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಸಿ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ದ ಎರ್ತ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ವನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಯಾಟಲೈಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರ್ಡ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಎಪ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ದ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪನಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಕಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಚ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ವೇ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ to maintain our own satellites mm. like our meteorological satellite heavy helping for our day to day life mm. it will help for the our satellites because now more and more satellites we are launching that will help in a better way so we with one aditya elven sir we will also study the sun yeah yeah, yeah. and maintain the satellites yeah, exactly, and, and exactly. study that yeah, also yeah yeah it's yeah. incredible sir so it's a technologically that's also yeah yeah yeah, yeah and really is challenging is there any mission of this kind happening in the world sir no it is in the world both observation mm-hmm. and forecast combined not together not together again we are going to be pioneering a mission yeah, wow yeah. incredible sir so let's talk about the last mission i mean i'm i'm pretty sure there are many more missions that are going to come up but but since we have uh, less time so let's talk talk about uh, gaganyaan yeah, okay. sir what is gaganyaan please explain sir yeah gaganyaan is basically look at mm. here uh, now india has uh, done reasonably well almost every front of the space technologies mm. uh, be it a launch vehicle be it a communication satellite remote sensing satellite navigation satellite uh, exploration missions mm. lunar mission mm. landing mission i think we have done uh, everything we have done but only one portion we have not done is uh, putting a man, man into the moon from indian soil Uh, Indians have flown from the Russian or American correct. aircraft, but Indian soil, we have not put it. Man on moon or man on man man in space? Man on space. Man in space. Man in space, man in space man we haven't space. put so far. We haven't put okay. it so far. So, this effort is to make uh, hmm. technologically, hmm. to get the uh, uh, systems such hmm. that we can safely put Indians on the space hmm. and we can bring back. Hmm. Uh, that, that is the idea hmm. of the Gagandhya. Hmm. And towards the initial steps have been done hmm. because the uh, space systems have to be put in the orbit hmm. and bring back safely. Hmm. And a couple of uh, tests have been done there, unmanned yeah. system. Correct. And one, one more also going to to happen uh, mm. uh, shortly mm. then everything goes through mm. May- maybe end of next year we expect uh, three people going to the space sir, sir there is a very important segment that we have it's called jk super achievers moment it's a moment where we talk about the the task that we thought was almost impossible but somehow the unit the organization made it possible and everybody was really emotional if you could share one one day like that sir one story like that yeah definitely many stories are there but now the latest story in august 23 when it's happened and it's going to be a national
destination mm. for the all many of the countries including developed nations mm. and remember nearly when india is celebrating national space day mm. in 23rd 23rd, 23rd of august of 2023 i foresee a day will come yeah. indians will celebrate both in india and in the moon correct i awesome. think i think that is that is the way we are looking for that way it's really really rejoicing a day mm. and rejoicing a day looking for something big bright and future amazing sir amazing sir i can't even explain this to you how grateful i am how grateful the entire nation is not just for the chandrayaan missions for the aditya l1 for the gaganyaan all these missions that you you and the isro scientists are doing we are really really thankful sir thank you so much for coming on jkf super podcast and we look forward to hosting you more and listening more incredible stories today the time was less but next time sir please take out more time from your schedule sure, and be sure. here sir thank you so much sir thank it was you, an thank absolute you. honor thank sir. you thank you thank you for opportunity like share and subscribe jk super podcast now sir i said it the moon man of india i said it please like share and subscribe <laughs> thank you sir